Welcome to Inuvik Northwest Territories. Things are very different in the Canadian North. Sometimes the sun does not set, sometimes the sun does not rise, and sometimes the best way to get from point A to point B in a car or a very large truck is not across the land, but across the water, as long as there's ice. This week, the Mercer Report gets up close and personal with a Canadian endangered species, the Ice Highway. Now, which way to tuck to yuck tuck? And this is Kurt Wayman of North Wind Industries. Hello, Kurt, how are you? I'm good, fine. I'm happy to be here, sir. So you are Mr. Ice Road, that's what I've been told. Is that's that correct? what I am, yes. So today we're gonna go out on the ice road, the ice highway, yep. which you built and you maintain. Yes. And what we are, we gotta clear that thing, don't we? Yeah, we gotta Because clear it it's closed. It's closed today, yes. Yes, because there was a blizzard. Now, is it true that it's a complete myth that equipment never goes through the ice? Oh, it occasionally does, but I mean, we were pretty safe. So it's not a myth? Not a myth. No, no it's myth in fact all. a fact. It's, it's reality sometimes. It's reality. We're on the ice. I can't help but think this is the beginning of one of those disaster movies. And the audience is going, what is he thinking? The sign says road closed. Don't go there. I assume there'd be street lights. <laughs> All righty. Now, can we just get in the snow plow and like just drive over there and plow wherever you want to plow? You, you could, but we haven't profiled the ice, so it's unsafe. <clears throat> so the ice could be safe here, but unsafe 75 feet over there? Yes, because you see, once you clear the snow off, the ice starts thickening here because you take the blanket off, right? How thick is this ice? Uh, it's three feet so far. It's early in the season. See, that doesn't seem like particularly thick to me. Ice is pretty strong. So if we had the GPS turned on now, we would literally be in the river. We'd just be driving up the river. We sure would be. And will we ever move from fresh water to salt water? Yeah, at the coast, yeah. So we're technically boating now. We sure are. Yeah. OK, so you weren't lying. We really are on ice. We are. See, it doesn't really look like ice, but those are giant boats frozen in the ice. They sure are. It's getting warm in here. It could be anxiety. It's better than cold. It's better than cold, yeah. This is exciting. This is like the moment in a young man's life where dad takes him into the parking lot and says, okay, do you want to drive? All righty. This is the beginning. Let's just hope 100 years from now they're not looking for the remains of the Mer Mercer expedition. <laughs> Careful. Don't bang into that. Shift her down to three here. All right. You got to plow. All right, we got to plow. So. That, yeah, you got to okay. plow. So you want to, how far over do you want to go? Yeah, I want to go until you touch that outside bank. How about this? Yeah, it's perfect. Now we're plowing. Now you're plowing. Oh, we're plowing with gas. Now can I do a, like a Yui? Yep. I want to spin out a plow. Did you see that donut? I call that the Arctic Circle. Oh, wow. <laughs> see, you know what? It's good that we got in the truck on pavement and came here because you don't really get the sense that you're on the ice. But look at this. And these cracks, they don't alarm you, eh? No, that's normal on an ice road. The cracks are always there. See, I don't know, this just feels weird. Let's just do it, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm getting a thrill out of that. Three, two, one. You've never gone in the water, have you? Yeah, a couple times. What do you mean a couple times? Yeah, we get stuck. I, we messed what do you up. you mean stuck? Oh, well, you get stuck in overflow, you know. You're stuck but your in... truck has never gone through the Oh yeah, yeah, right through. We saw him out once, me and my brother. It was Boxing Day, like 10 years ago. 
we fell through and we got a little wet and swam out and went home. Well, then we rolled around the snow first and sealed off the wetness and then we... Uh... See, I wouldn't know to do that. <laughs> that would not be my instinct. I would not roll around in the snow. You mean you came out of the water? Yeah. And we rolled around in the snow. Whose idea was that? Or did you all know how to do it? We all know how to do it. We've all fell in with snowmobiles and gotten wet in the Arctic. Uh, we fell in, we went under, we swam out, got on the ice, <laughs> rolled around in the snow and sealed off the wetness so you can, your heat stays you in your body. A, a nice, comfortable ice suit on. Oh, yeah. We yeah. started walking and then we got warmed up inside. It did a little bit, not much. And then uh, about 10 minutes later, a guy was driving by and picked us up and brought us home. So was, That's nice of them. That was a nice of them. Yeah. Well, I don't want to brag, but I think we did a, we did a good job. Looks good. The highway to Tuk Ti Yuk Tuk is now open. I just said that because I like saying Tuk Ti Yuk Tuk. <laughs> the donut was cool, eh? <laughs> donut was cool. If the cops come, he was driving. <laughs> I don't even have a license. I don't even know who he is. I was hitchhiking. Ooh.